Hello again. It's great to see you. Hasn't the weather been absolutely wonderful? And what a lot we have to be thankful for. I was delighted, uh, and so was Susie Dog, to find that Shaftesbury Park uh, in Carrick Fergus was open again. And you can see some pictures posted on Exchange uh, on our website. Uh, you know, it was like meeting an old friend. The trees and the rhododendrons, the pathways and the green, all so familiar and so peaceful. Uh, people mustn't realise that it's open yet because it was almost deserted. And I always find it a great place to, to pray walk, if you like, when it's empty especially. And you know, sometimes I've met a stranger who turned out to, to be a believer, uh, and I've had some great talks there about our awesome God. In fact, it was there that I met Elsie, the lady who gave me Susie. Elsie had cancer, and she said to me one day, I'm not worried about myself. I know where I'm going. I'm just worried about wee Susie. Uh, what a friend she was and what a wonderful witness. So yes, it's easy to say in these sunny days as we read in Psalm 118, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know if you've noticed how suddenly that everything's begun to shoot. Um, my son-in-law cut down some hedges and trees and things for me in January, and uh, <clears throat> sadly went a wee bit mad with his um, with his, his uh, cutters, <laughs> and he cut down a rambling rose which his mother had given me in, in a wee pot at the time, and which had grown very well. Uh, perhaps he thought it was a bramble. Anyway, I, I was a wee bit devastated at the time, but I didn't say a thing. Uh, but when I saw the raw stripped branch poking up um, out of the ground beside the fence, he did such a wonderful job on everything that I wouldn't ever, ever complain. He mightn't come back. Uh, yesterday, I looked again and I couldn't believe it. There was about two feet of abundant growth as it began to wind again round the trellis. And my window box, it was a very sorry sight. One half dead 15 year old geranium, <laughs> a bit of a stick that used to be some kind of abundant white rockery plant <clears throat> and a withered uh, bud on a mini carnation. And I've completely ignored it. I haven't fed it, I haven't watered it. I'm a very bad mummy. And this week when I looked, the geranium's red flowers are starting to bloom. The stick is flourishing with tiny white flowers and the, uh, the carnation, well, it has absolutely trebled in size. You see, we should never give up on anything. I could have ripped all those things out to the garden recycling uh, and there they go. And there was the wonderful creation taking over. A reduction in the traffic fumes and a lot of sunshine. God's creation has a chance to grow and to flourish. So never give up on anything. Never give up. And uh, never give up on your hair growing back again. And, and we never saw that strip at the back of your head. We'd like to see that. Perhaps you yourself are, are feeling a wee bit like those neglected plants. Cut off from nourishment. Abandoned. I know many of you will be missing contact with families, separated and just wondering when things will return to normal, if ever. And the one constant that you can hold on to uh, these days is that you're never ever abandoned by God, as we said in Joshua last time. God never abandons us. And in fact, now more than ever in our, our, our usual hectic lifestyle, now more than ever, you have time just to be with him in a new and fulfilling way. And I want you to stop now and just take a few moments to rest and to be with him. So just sitting comfortably. Rest quietly, somewhere comfortable. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. Listen to him speaking to you now.
And he says, my child, invite me into your moments by talking with me about everything that concerns you, whatever is on your mind. Your conversations with me will radically change the way you look at things. Bring me into your thoughts in even the smallest of things. Whatever you're facing, I can help you handle it. Seek to find joy in this day, this day that I have made for you. I've hidden small treasures along your pathway. Search for them and thank me for each one. Many of the little things which delight your heart are unique to you. I know you so intimately that I can provide just what you need to make you glad. Rejoice. You are my beloved child. I am with you always. Rest in his promises. I want to read to you from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 and 18. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. God invites us to rejoice in our days, whatever the circumstances. He invites us to talk to him about everything, every little detail, every little sadness, every little anxiety, everything, every detail of our lives. That's to pray without ceasing, involving God in every detail of our lives. So take heart. Take heart, dear friends. Be thankful. Be thankful for all those little things. And be confident that the Lord your God walks with you and never, ever give up. Never give up. Let us pray. <clears throat> Lord, sometimes it's so hard to be positive when life is getting us down. When we see no end to the lockdown we're in. Father, help us to be grateful for all that we have, for the time and the space we're having, for the rest these circumstances are giving to our planet in so many ways. We continue to pray, Father, for all those in need, those who are ill, those who are, those who are meeting their needs. And we thank you that you are with us always, and we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you and all those whom you love, this day and forevermore. That's it for today. So God bless. Bye-bye, and I'll see you again soon.